In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between building a regular cleaning business and a high ticket cleaning business. And don't worry if you've already built that regular cleaning company, I'm going to show you how to switch things up on a dime so you can have a company that is perceived from the outside as low value to a high value company. I can't wait to do that. But before we get into that, if you are completely new to this channel, my name is Mike Mack and I help everyday people get their time freedom back by building automated cleaning businesses without getting themselves dirty in the process. I'm also the author of the Amazon bestseller, Pick Up Cash, Not Trash, the ultimate guide to building an automated cleaning business without getting yourself dirty in the process. If you're interested in the book, you can get it below. Link in the comments. It's free. Just cover the shipping and we'll send it right over to you. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, so some of you may be thinking, what is a high ticket cleaning company? And what's a regular cleaning company? What's the difference, Mike? Seriously, is a high ticket just mean you're seven figures and you're killing it versus like low, meaning you're only billing like $5,000? Is that the difference? No, no. And I'm gonna prove it like throughout this video, but right now I'm gonna give you just a quick story. I had someone come to me about six, seven months ago, right? And this person was like, hey Mike, listen, I'm a fan of what you do, but I don't need help getting clients. I just need you to help me install a clean team in my company. And uh, we said, yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that is a big part of what we do. We'll help you do that. But first let's figure out kind of like how your company is structured. And this person told me I have zero problems getting clients. No problem at all. I just can't find good people. So what we ended up finding out is this person was indeed correct. He had no problem getting clients. The only problem was the clients he was getting. This person was billing near $50,000 and at least 30, 40% of that should be coming home into your pocket, this person was pulling in less than 10%. So just like we helped this person totally switch things up in his cleaning business, I'm going to show you how to do the very thing right now. So the purpose of this video is showing you the difference so you know how to make the switch between a regular cleaning company and a high value cleaning company. Let's start with a regular cleaning company first. So regular cleaning companies, in a nutshell, they're typically really easy to spot, especially if you know what you're looking for. So a regular cleaning company is typically, they have a company where it's like kind of like ABC cleaning. It's just, there's nothing to it. There's just letters in a name, or maybe it takes after your last name. That by itself is not a big deal. It's just when you kind of roll these things together, you kind of have like a regular cleaning company. So I'm saying that is just a tell. It's typically just generic. Another thing, let's go a little bit further. You typically go to a regular cleaning business site and there's no story. There's no real story that kind of brings you in and lets you know a little bit about the people and lets you know about what their purpose is and what their mission is. And because of that, I mean, it's hard to connect with something like that. And another thing about these types of businesses is typically, not always, but typically the owner operators doing a lot of the cleaning by themselves, if not all of it, which that right there, it is a dead giveaway. You know, there's nothing wrong if you just want to keep this a side hustle. Truly, I'm talking about the people who just are stuck are kind of like held hostage in their company. I've been there. You know, my wife and I just at the time when we started our cleaning franchise years ago, that was something where we just couldn't staff and we ended up doing all the cleaning. We needed the money. It was just a bad spot to be in. And it's because even though we were under the umbrella of a franchise, we kind of built ourselves a regular cleaning company. Now this version of us, the high ticket version, that's coming up in a second. And another reason why regular cleaning businesses, you know, it, they're hard to staff is because they're usually either targeting tiny accounts, $300 a month, $500 a month, one to two cleans per week, or maybe one to two cleans per month, even worse, which is probably like a $200 account, depending on the size. You know, if it's not that, it's also the underbidding. Since you're a regular cleaning company, you haven't differentiated yourself, right? You end up being in a position where you have no choice but to underbid. If you've done this for yourself, you put yourself in there, understand that I've been there and I just want to get you out of there or away from there or as much as possible. So I have to alert you of these things. So don't think for a second, any way, I'm talking down to anyone who's done that. Please, anyone who knows me knows I'm not like that, all right? So let's get to the next two. So the next two are huge. And the, the first one of the next two is low profit margin, which I kind of told you that story before. And just because, you know, you build like a 50, even a seven figure, I mean, you could build a seven figure cleaning company, which is you're billing typically 83,000 and above per month. You can technically build that and just have a, a horrible profit margin. I mean, a profit margin where of that, of all of that, you're not automated. You just have a bunch of accounts all over your city 
city where you're just sending people to go clean and you're kind of making pennies on what you could be making. And that's tricky. I mean, that's difficult. That's what makes this industry difficult for people. It's because of these things together. When you build this type of company, if you scale it, a lot of people think all I need is more accounts and then I'm good. Yeah, but the problem is if you scale that, like what we scale is just we're making it bigger than what it is. If that makes sense, comment makes sense below this video. And the final piece of this is just no culture. So no culture is gonna spill into everything else, right? If there's no culture, that determines how you feel about your company. So if you don't have a high view towards your company, you know, you're not gonna be careful about who you let into your company to clean. It's, you're not gonna be careful about the clients you select. You're not gonna be careful about these things. Or if you are, it's not to the level you could if you had a culture, okay? Now, guys, the importance of this video is a lot of people from the outside, if you're new to cleaning businesses, you may have this view that cleaning businesses are just low status, low value. But I'm telling you right now, the, the true difference in how a company is perceived, it's not by industry. I'll give you an example. You go to a diner and you could pay like $30 for a steak, right? Or you can go to like a big steakhouse and spend, you know, four or $500 on a piece of steak. So it's like, what's the difference? I mean, sure, you could take quality, but that's just part of it. The point is, there's a lot that goes into it. But if they're both restaurants, why is one low value and the other one's high value? See, it's not the industry. And it's the same thing with cleaning businesses. Now, before we jump to the high ticket mark, if you're getting value from this video, I need you to hit that like button. And also, if you have not already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, all right? Now that you know what a regular cleaning company is, I'm gonna show you how to turn your regular cleaning company, if you have one, into a high ticket profit machine. Now. Let's get to that. Okay, I'm gonna go in the exact same order. So for the first one, we talked about a generic name, right? A name that just, there's really nothing to it. Now a high ticket company usually will have a name that is clever or interesting in a way, or it just feeds into a brand or there's a meaning, there's a deeper meaning. These things are all great signs. It's a sign to your potential customers that you didn't just last minute write a name and say, yeah. No, it's a sign that you actually thought it through and you were like, this is what I wanna do. I want to build a great cleaning service. Okay. Now I'm not saying you can't do that without a great name. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying usually it's a tell to a potential client, right? And you know, the type of name that sounds like a franchise. I mean, that's a clue. That's a cue. You know, that's what we started here. And when we started our second cleaning company, our independent cleaning company, you know, when we got away from the franchise life, we started going to events and people would be like, Oh, interesting. Are you guys franchised? No. Why? I'm going to get into the next thing. The next thing about, you know, after a clever name, I mean, because it's not that by itself. It's having a story, a brand story that is client focused. Seriously, it's about them. Why do we exist? We exist because we serve these people. We help these types of people get these types of results. I mean, you may say, okay, but how do you do that for cleaning? It's a lot simpler than you think. You have to think about it. You know, we help lawyers and doctors provide the cleanest space for their clients and patients. It could be that simple honestly. So you don't have to overthink it. But the point is, it's a lot better than about us on website. Me, 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 You see what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. Okay. The next thing is instead of the owner operator cleaning the accounts themselves, no, in a high ticket cleaning company, the owner of the company has set up the right operations. The operations are in place to where he or she is in a position when they can go on vacation whenever they want. They can work as much as they want. You know why? Why? Because great people are in place around and everyone is doing what they're supposed to do, like clockwork, okay? I mean, that's where your systems come in. When you build out the correct infrastructure for a high ticket cleaning company, it makes these processes a lot easier to come up with. Because everything is simplified, it makes hiring people easy and giving them the right tools they need to succeed. And when all that's in place, right, the next thing is like when it comes to clients, what type of clients do we want? Well, we want high ticket clients, we want dream clients. You know, we want clients that are not so huge where you're constantly like worrying about losing them because you have to put so many cleaners in. But and you also don't want small accounts to where it's so small. It's like if they complain, you're almost like, oh, why, are, why do you hate me so much? You're only paying me 200 a month. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, target that five to $15,000 mark. Then you need a lot less clients paying you a lot more money. So when you do things that way, all of a sudden you have high profit margins. 
and you're able to pay your cleaners more, take care of them, you're able to take care of your managers. Now, you see where I'm coming from? Do you see how big a difference it is going from a regular cleaning company to a high ticket company? Can you see how the high ticket cleaning company doesn't have to compete on price with everyone else? Because that high ticket company is coming across very, very different to potential clients. I really want you to think about that. I really want you to think about your current cleaning service if you've already started. And if you haven't started, you get to avoid all of the changeover. You can go right to structuring your company the way it needs to be structured. Let's get to the next thing. Now, the next thing is, and it kind of spills in from the last thing. You know, when I start talking about five to $15,000 a month type of accounts, you know, one thing that I learned over time is the bigger the accounts, like in that sweet spot, because you want to go too big, but if that sweet spot, it seems like that's where all the dream clients are hiding. Do you know what I mean? It seems like that's the particular area area where people are just the nicest to deal with. People are just so sweet. They're so easy to deal with. They're so easy going. It's so much easier to build a relationship because remember, relationships are key in this game. We have good friendship relationships. It turns into really, really, really long term situation that's mutually beneficial. So because of that, when you build your company around these types of clients, it gives you so much freedom. Now, can you see how if you built your cleaning company around these types of clients, can you see how much easier it would be to actually automate? Can you see how kind of stress free it can be? That's not to mean there aren't days, but I'm saying overall, can you see how this is a company that you can operate years on time? Let me know below this video if you agree. And now lastly, you add a winning culture. You add a culture that again, people want to be a part of. If you got the great story, if you got the name, the brand is where it needs to be. You've set yourself apart. You know who you're targeting. You know who you want in your company. You want great dream clients. You know what type of cleaners you want. You want great human beings. You want people that, you know, you have just like a business where you guys are all become like family. I'm talking about clients and cleaners. This is not a dream, guys. I experienced this. Thank God. It's wonderful. It's wonderful when you feel like you've built like a little family and everyone's helping each other. This is all possible when you make yourself a high ticket company. That's the whole point of this, guys. And that's why I really felt like this was an important video to make. Now, it's not a video that honestly I was asked for. Usually I make videos based on what I'm asked. This one is just something I see that's out there. I see it. I have the ability to mentor so many different people, obviously in my program, but also like just in my free Facebook group, I'm able to just see people go through what they go through. I'm like, wow, a lot of that's avoidable. Let me show you how. This video right here if you're stuck around to this point you totally get it matter of fact if you stuck around to this point let me know by commenting high ticket below let me know if you are ready to make these changes you know what i mean if you are ready to make it happen because if you commit to yourself that you want to build this type of company then nothing is going to stop you nothing absolutely at all all right so if you got massive value from this video i need you to hit me with that thumbs up hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell. And if you want a little bit more, check out this video right here. And if you're ready to build your own high ticket cleaning company and you wanna do it fast without the mistakes, check out that masterclass right there. Peace out Cub Scouts.